But what happens when grandma talks to you? She talks to the real you, huh? She says, ay, linda, preciosa, querida de mi vida, you're the most beautiful girl on the planet, you're so beautiful. And in your heart you go, I know, huh? <laughs> it's true. Ay, why doesn't everybody know? You should tell everyone, grandma. I've been doing this for 12 years, this empowerment comedy, and so I've been able to inspire thousands of students in the DMV, uh, in Virginia, Northern Virginia, and for me, what feels so purposeful. I wake up every morning knowing that God put me on the planet to inspire young people to get back in touch with who they are. When you run out of shampoo, do you throw the bottle away? No, you pour the water inside, shake people right? right? Everybody does that. Everyone does. Even the teachers are like, we do that too, we do that too. The reason I came to Centerville is because of one young man we empowered two years ago through the Hispanic College Institute, and this young man was empowered and inspired, so much so that he's been trying to bring me to Centerville for two years. We wanted to do something for the Hispanic Heritage Month, and um, we knew that uh, he had a fee, but then um, I um, had connections with the Centerville Immigration Forum, so we decided to go ahead and try to, you know, uh, make a proposal. Our mission is to help the immigrant community. We had a board meeting, and Ricardo came and asked the board if he could bring Ernie G. He asked, he gave us a speech about how he's changed his life and how it was really important for him. And so this aligned perfectly with what we have wanted to do. And um, knowing Ricardo personally and believing in his message allowed our board members to give him the money for this endeavor. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. I saw some students crying because, you know, it's just that connection that he makes. And uh, that's the moment when the students realize their potential and, and how much they can be able to achieve and that they can make their parents' sacrifices worth it. And it's just wonderful. I just loved it. I was literally more afraid of my mom than I was the Cholos in the hood. Had I listened to the Cholos in the hood, I would have ended up dead or in jail. I listened to my mama, I ended up being a college graduate. So I thank my mama every day for loving me. Oh, thank you. Latinos need role models. We need more people to look up to and to aspire to be like I had when I was a kid. And so I'd like to be that for a lot of students all over the country. And so I feel very blessed to be able to use comedy to inspire people to fall back in love with themselves and to let their light shine. Students especially, to remember is, if it is to be, it is up to me.